Kerbin Rocket sets course for Moon. Moon! Our closest neighbor in the interplanetary neighborhood. For hundreds of years, our ancestors have gazed up at the sky and wondered, what is that? Can I crash into it? Will it explode? Kerbin's top scientists are on the verge of finding answers to these compelling questions this very week as they design the very first object to leave the bounds of Kerbin and meet this new world. Hello everyone, this is Shimmy and I'm back with some more Kerbal Space Program working on the Sandbox Space Campaign and I'm going to do another mission today. Um, as, uh, as, as you previously saw, had some setbacks but I uh, currently have uh, some relay satellites up in orbit and it's going to make me be able to send out some more uh, probes, see if I can make some of that money back. So what I'm doing today is I'm going to be doing my first moon mission. I'll be sending a probe to the moon to see if I can uh, uh, complete some of the objectives in the mission controller and I'll go ahead and get to that. So uh, what I'll be doing now is I'll be making a moon probe that I can uh, get into the orbit of the moon and I'll see you when I get there. I'll go ahead and uh, fast forward all this until I have a, uh, a working probe. Maybe I'll show that. Not sure, but I'll see you at that point. All right, I am back with my new rocket here. I have a probe up in the payload section here that I plan on sending towards the moon. Now, while uh, the camera was off, I went ahead and decided I wanted to rename all my communication satellites that I set up in the previous episode so it's going to be easier for me to configure uh, once I get into orbit. So my plan is to go ahead and launch, recover as many pieces of the craft that are not going to the moon. So even the second stage here I plan on recovering. I don't know if that's going to work or not, um, but I believe I should have enough Delta V for the entire trip. So I'm just going to go ahead and launch at this point. So I'm just going to go ahead and throttle up and launch. Alrighty. So as before, this process is pretty straightforward. If anything bad happens, you know, I'll go ahead and uh, put that in. But uh, if not, I'll go ahead and skip to the important stuff, and I'll see you at that point. Alrighty, we are back here. I'm just about to complete my circularization burn here. Looks like everything has gone pretty okay. Let's see here, just burn for about eight seconds. I'll throw all that down so I don't go too fast. And 82 by 79, perfect, alrighty. So we are still on our second stage here. We only've got about 480 meters per second of delta V left on this before we need to switch to the final stage of the probe. Now, I really gotta say how nervous this has actually got me. I've, I've been playing KSP for a while, but only when I started doing the series and the mission controller with the hardcore at that point have I really got nervous because I failed a few episodes, or a few, a few missions, and oh man, you know. And if I if I keep if I keep failing, then I I can't do this anymore. So that's kind of scary to me. But uh, I didn't take any any unnecessary risks at this point. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and plan for my my lunar injection burn here. I think I might have actually missed it. I could have done it. Uh, while I was circularizing, but hey, that's okay. You know, I can just go ahead and wait. As you can see here, got a nice reflection of the signal uh, back to home base, and that's what the entire point of these four satellites. Now, I don't know if I, I in the previous episode I called it a a constellation. I don't know if that's the exact definition of constellation, but it is a network of satellites, thanks to remote tech. So this point I'm gonna go ahead and kind of go ahead and line this up have my maneuver about here it doesn't need to be perfect go ahead and drag this prograde marker all the way out further and further and bam all right we have an encounter let's see how close we can get that we don't want it to crash in we want to have something so 
Oops. 16. All right, so I'm going to go for a couple missions on this probe today. I want to go ahead and make the flyby mission. The flyby mission is I need to get really, really close to the surface as a flyby. But I also want to make the orbit mission. So there's that too. Um, hopefully the way that the entire network relay is going to set up, I'm not going to work. I'm not going to have an issue with not being out of contact. Because I think... That is still in the line of sight, and I should still be able to make orbit. So anyway, there's another thing I need to do. I need to enable this dish. This dish is what's going to allow me to communicate with the four other uh, satellites that I renamed after the seasons. So I got spring, summer, autumn, and winter. So what I'm going to want to do at this point is I'm going to want to go into these and configure these dishes. And I'm going to want to point them at my current GoPro probe. Okay, I'm just going to cut, cut all this and I'll go ahead and get back to you as soon as I have this all configured and I'm ready to start my burn towards the moon. Alrighty, we are back, and we are currently flying directly over the KS KSC, the Kerbin Space Center, and we are about one minute away from our burn towards the moon, and uh, yeah, so I went ahead and got all of the uh, other satellites configured, so they are pointing at this one, I hope. <laughs> um, ooh, wait a second, I have to make sure, hmm, alright, you know what? I am actually, you know, come to think of it, I'm not sure. Uh, so as soon as I go ahead and complete this burn, I'm going to go and switch to the others and make sure that those dishes are activated. I don't know if I activated them. So anyway, burning. Uh, a few seconds late. That's okay, though. Let's see here. Here's the thing. I don't want to run out of fuel on this lat on the on this second stage here, because I want to be able to recover it. So I believe 84 should be fine. Let me go ahead and stage. And activate this engine. Continuing. Bye-bye. See our orbit increasing. Whew. All right, so whew. Uh, we're actually in a, uh, we don't have the periapsis there, so I believe we are in an encounter where we would crash into the moon, I believe. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and make sure all of these satellites are still configured properly, um, because it would be a terrible shame if I got to this point, I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't be able to uh, control it, so. I'll go ahead and uh, cut that out, make sure that is configured properly, and then uh, we can continue from there. So anyway, I'll see you in a bit. 